and welcome to CarePro Worksite Wellness's presentation on tackling triglycerides. Last month, we learned all about cholesterol. This month, we'll focus on triglycerides, an important measure of heart health. Before we begin, we need to know what triglycerides are. When you consume more calories than your body needs, the liver converts these calories into triglycerides and stores them in the fat cells of the body. The triglycerides are then released into the bloodstream when your body needs energy between meals. So, the more excess body fat you have and the more extra calories you eat, the higher your triglycerides may be. Here's a diagram that shows how triglycerides are made in the body. When there is an excess of calories, specifically with a carbohydrate overload, the pancreas releases insulin. And in turn, those excess calories are processed into triglycerides by the liver and then stored in the fat cells. Your triglyceride levels can be determined from a simple prick of the finger and a small amount of blood. Because remember, triglycerides travel in the bloodstream to give you energy between meals. Triglycerides peak four hours after a meal, and that's why fasting is required to determine actual levels. Normal, optimal levels of triglycerides is less than 150 milligrams per deciliter. Borderline high levels are between 150 and 199, and it's considered high when your triglyceride levels are above 200. One common question is, can you feel high triglycerides in the body? And the answer is no. There are no symptoms associated with high triglycerides, so you can't feel them. However, you can see the effects reflected in a larger waistline. Triglycerides are one of the five factors taken into consideration when determining if an individual has metabolic syndrome. The other factors taken into consideration are blood pressure, HDL cholesterol, waist circumference, and fasting blood glucose. Metabolic syndrome occurs when you have three or more of the five risk factors mentioned out of the optimal range. When diagnosed with metabolic syndrome, you have an increased risk for heart disease, hypertension, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. A change in habits can lower triglycerides, which in turn leads to lower health risks. By adding small changes, a little at a time, you can improve your triglyceride levels. So let's talk about some ways to tackle those high triglycerides. Remember, your body releases triglycerides into the bloodstream from stored fat. So the less fat you have available, the lower your triglycerides will be. So, Losing just 5 to 10% of your body weight can have a positive impact on your triglyceride levels. For example, if you weigh 200 pounds, you would target a 10 to 20 pound loss. Another way to tackle triglycerides is with gradual lifestyle changes. One of these lifestyle changes is to know your portions. Portion distortion is rampant in the dining in and out industry. Portions have doubled and tripled in the last 20 to 30 years. Just by cutting your portions in half, you can improve not just your triglyceride levels, but other values too. Use my plate, pictured in the slide, as an example of how your plate should look each meal. Consuming more calories than your body needs means that the excess calories will be stored as fat. The number one way to lose weight is to track your food. By being aware of what you eat and how much you eat, 
will give you insight on how to improve your eating habits and potentially motivate you to eat less if you have to write it down. Sugar is energy, but if there's excess in your body that's not being immediately used, it'll be sent to the liver and processed into triglycerides. A tip, read labels on processed food items. Often processed foods that are marked as healthy are lower in fat, but higher in sugar. A good rule of thumb is sticking to items with nine grams of sugar or less per serving. Another tip is control the amount of white foods you eat, such as bread, pasta, rice, and baked goods. All of these have a high carb content. A serving of rice, for example, is half a cup, which is 120 calories. Most people, however, eat one cup or more at a time, which is about the size of a baseball, which is equal to 240 calories. Start by cutting those servings in half. This will probably get you closer to the recommended serving size. Fill up on high fiber carbs like vegetables, which are like sustained release fuel. It takes longer to digest fiber, so it's a good rule of thumb is to make half of your plate vegetables. Another way to control calories could be as simple as cutting out pop, which is a major player in, cre in increasing triglycerides. Those added calories and sugars, if not needed by the body, will be turned into fat. You don't have to be a member of a gym to do physical activity. If you can elevate your heart rate and work up a sweat, you're doing physical activity. Target 30 minutes a day, five days a week. If your life is hectic, start with 10 minutes a day. Work up to three 10-minute intervals, and there you have your 30 minutes. Don't forget, you can fit in everyday exercise by parking further away at the grocery store or walking during halftime at practices or games. Here is the CarePro Worksite Wellness's October Challenge. On the back of the form, there are various activities that you can do to gain yards each day. There are simple tasks, such as eating one serving of fruit, that will get you five yards. Then there are some activities that can get you up to 20 yards, such as 60 minutes of activity with a family member or friend. There are also activities that will set you back five yards, such as drinking pop. Your goal is to add up your yardage and aim for a touchdown each day. Then tally up the total number of touchdowns in the month of October for a chance to win prizes. Thanks for listening. In order to be eligible for the wellness prizes, you must complete the short survey following this presentation. The link was provided to you in an email at the beginning of the month. For more information or questions, you can always contact CarePro Worksite Wellness. We are here for you.